Today I'm going to take a look at uh, the Smith & Wesson MMP 9mm. Make sure it's clear. Lock the slide back. Just some quick details on it. It is uh, MSRP is about $550 on it. Um, it is obviously calibered in 9mm. It does have a 17 plus 1 round capacity. Uh, the barrel length is 4.25 inches. Um, does have a white dovetail uh, sights on it. Mine actually illuminate in the dark. I don't know. I actually bought mine new, so I don't know if someone put those on after my uh, mother in law bought the same model brand new and it didn't have the illuminated uh, sights on it. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, trigger pull is about six and a half pounds. Um, the overall length is about, about 6.7 uh, and a half inches, I guess. Um, it is a polymer frame with a steel slide, obviously. Um, weight empty is about 24 ounces. Uh, the overall height is 5.5 inches. Uh, the sight length is 6.4 inches between the sights. And uh, it's used uh, for personal protection as well as uh, law enforcement and military applications. It's a great gun. Uh, I've had zero failures with it. Um, it's got, as you can see, a little weaver down on the bottom there, weaver accessory rail. Um, you can put any kind of lasers or flashlights that you want on there. Uh, it does have the slide lock button there, ambidextrous magazine release. Um, well, actually, I'm sorry, it's not ambidextrous, but you can flip it around, I believe, uh, so you can make it left-handed, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it does, uh, normally I don't think the new models come with the thumb safety, but I do have, uh, again, I don't know if it was because of the used model, uh, but the ambidextrous uh, thumb safety. Uh, the new models do have the pin there, so I think you can put it on afterwards, um, but uh, it's something I'm not really that familiar with. Um, like I said, a great gun, though. What we're going to do is just go ahead, break it down, and uh, clean it up. Okay, so to uh, disassemble this weapon, what we're going to do is in the bottom of the magwell there is a tool, and if you twist that and uh, kind of get it in, pull it downward, it should come right out. And uh, that is also how you get to change the uh, uh, grips on the uh, grip there. That's uh, large on this particular one. It comes with a small and a medium as well. Um, once you have the tool out, all this really does is push the sear pin down, so you can really use anything for that per se. Uh, but what we can do is go ahead and lock this gun into the rear rear position. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that by sliding it back and pushing up on the um, lock back button, which is also on both sides. Uh, once you have that back, you can take your takedown lever down and push that into the downward position. Uh, we also want to go ahead and, like I said, use that uh, tool here to uh, push down, which you're not going to be able to see right now, but there is a little stainless steel uh, sear pin that comes out. Um, once I push it down here, you should be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Um, as you can see now, there is two little pins, and that little pin right there is what we're talking about. Uh, once that is in the downward position, it should allow you to release the magazine forward, uh, making sure again that our takedown lever is uh, pointed downwards. Uh, we should be able to go ahead and slide the uh, slide right off the receiver. Uh, it comes off in two pieces. Um, once you get to that point, it's pretty straightforward like any other semi-automatic pistol. you got your uh, spring that you can remove. Uh, once you got your spring in there, you can go ahead and take out your barrel. Uh, then really that's all as far as I go as far as disassembly. Uh, right from this point you can go ahead and clean with pretty much everything that you got uh, with a brush and some solvent. Uh, once I go ahead and do that, uh, we'll go to the next step. Well before I start uh, using my brush and some solvent to go over uh, the majority of the pieces, just getting all the following off, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, work on the barrel a little bit, get some solvent down there, start working on the stuff that's inside the barrel. Um, I'll spray some solvent down it, then I'll just put a wire brush down there, spray it some more. Um, let that sit a little bit to the side while I go ahead and uh, use again my brush to go over the rest of the pieces. Once I got all the pieces uh, 
brush down real good with solvent. I kind of let them obviously set just for a minute or two, let the uh, solvent do its work. And what I'll do is uh, they'll go back with a kind of a cleaner cloth and just wipe most of the solvents off as much as I can. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Now since this was uh, my first and uh, probably still my most favorite weapon, what I uh, do is I spend a little bit more attention with it, uh, especially because these uh, 9mm, these semi-automatic pistols, a lot of following can get caught up and uh, really just to maintain the value and keep it working nicely, I try to uh, get most of the uh, fouling out as much as possible where a lot of other um, you know, places where the rags can't get to. So I do use a Q-tip and uh, um, some solvent on it and get down into the places, especially down in the receiver part here, kind of down in the uh, takedown lever release area, um, a lot of the trigger area here, and then back into where the slide uh, works, just because a lot of the, like I said, those spaces you can't get to otherwise. So uh, there is another place down here I'll get kind of inside this area real well, uh, some of the rails where it follows on the slide here. Um, so uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, after I got that done, what I'm going to do is go back work on the barrel a little bit more. I'm going to put some more solvent down there, um, use the brush a little bit more on it, uh, put the cotton swab down it, um, put some oil down it, and then I will go ahead and use a clean uh, patch to go down it with the uh, uh, rod. And uh, once that's done, then we'll go to the next step. Once the barrel is clean, what I'm going to do is uh, go back with my REM oil wipe and wipe down all of the parts, uh, paying close attention to the interior parts and uh, just kind of getting all the loose following that I may have missed. Uh, uh, but uh, we're going to leave the uh, thin layer of uh, oil on the inside of the uh, interior parts. So uh, we want to make sure you get that pretty well. So as you can see, uh, or maybe you can't, I'm not too sure here, but uh, on the uh, rim oil wipe there's a little bit of following that uh, was left behind, but uh, if you're able to come out with a clean uh, oil rag like that, you're doing pretty well as far as the cleaning process. So um, one step that I do with this particular gun that I don't do with a lot of the other guns uh, is I actually use some uh, gun grease uh, on the slide parts of this gun um, right there, right there. Uh, right there and right there and that's where the slide actually makes contact with the lower receiver um, just kind of reduces the friction uh, maintains the pieces uh, just an overall good good idea with these larger frame type guns uh, to do that so one le one extra step that I do with this particular gun that I don't do with others So once we got, uh, as you can see, the gun grease on the slide parts there in the front and in the back, uh, what we can go ahead and do is uh, reassembly of this gun. Uh, we'll start with uh, the slide portion of it and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take our barrel and we'll put the barrel inside the slide just like that. Uh, once you got the slide in there, what you can do is go ahead and uh, Use your spring, and put the spring in the hole. Once you get the spring kind of lined up there, what you should be able to do is just push with your thumb and get it down into that position. Once you got uh, the spring in, the slide is pretty much ready to go. Uh, we'll take a look at the receive here, make sure everything is good. Uh, what you want your takedown lever to be down, obviously. Um, and everything else looks good. Your sear pin, if that moves up during the cleaning process, that's not a, not a big deal. Um, as far as I know, I haven't had any issues with it, so uh, what we'll go do at this point is uh, we'll go ahead and match the uh, rails up with the slide, if you can kind of see that there on the camera, and we're going to just slide back 
Um, once we do the slide back motion, we're going to actually lock it into the rearward position as we start it out. So just like that. Sometimes when you do that, I'm not sure if that's a, a, a function of the gun or not, but sometimes this uh, takedown lever will actually pop right back up into the uh, original position, which is fine, not a big deal. Uh, if you haven't checked already, go ahead and check to make sure that sear pin is uh, in the uh, upward position, the original position it was in. Um, you can go ahead and replace your uh, magwell tool. So we won't need that any longer. And then your gun should be fully reassembled, I believe, at this point. You should be able to go ahead and test your uh, action. Make sure everything is working. Looks like everything's working. Safety up, safety down. Check it, safe direction. Looks like it's working. Uh, so at this point, what I'll do is I'll go back and uh, I'll use a uh, wax cloth on it. Go over it real good with wax cloth. And then I'll go over it real good with a silicone cloth. And uh, we should be pretty good at that point. And there you have it. That is uh, the uh, overview, shooting, disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly of the Smith & Wesson MMP 9mm. One of my favorite guns by far. Hope you enjoyed and uh, also hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.